The sports car having a mass of 1700 kilograms travels horizontally along a 20 degree banked track which is circular and has a radius of curvature of rho equals 100 meters. If the coefficient of static friction between the tires and the road is mu s is equal to 0.2, determine the maximum constant speed at which the car can travel without sliding up the slope. Neglect the size of the car. All right, before jumping into the free body diagram, we have to understand the kinematics of this problem. So this car is moving in a circular track that has this radius of curvature, and it is moving with constant speed. He wants us to determine the maximum constant speed. But this diagram is not helpful at all because the velocity, as we can see from this figure, is coming out of the screen or normal to the screen that you are looking at now. And because of that, we have to look at this car from the top view so we can see the complete circular track. So if we draw this circular track and we draw our car, then we will have the velocity in this direction and we will have also the tangential acceleration in this direction. But since the question is asking for the constant speed, we don't have a tangential acceleration which is in this direction or if we look at the car, then it is the direction coming normal out of the screen. All right. Now, the normal acceleration will be towards the center of the radius of curvature. And if we look at this AN on the diagram, then it will be horizontal to the left. And by doing that, now we're ready to put our free body diagram. This is the weight vertically down. This is 20 degrees, which is the angle of the plane. This is the normal. And the question is saying without sliding up. So find the maximum speed such that the car is about to slide up. And this means that the tires have reached their maximum static fraction of mu s times n. And by knowing the direction of the acceleration, which is the normal, which is left horizontal, we can solve this problem or we can analyze our equations in two ways. The first way is to consider the normal to the plane and the plane itself. And in this case, I have to analyze the normal acceleration normal to the plane and another component along the plane. The other way is by considering two equations, one in the vertical plane where the summation of forces is equal to zero and one to the left direction along this normal direction, which is the summation of forces equals to ma times n. And this is the situation that we will be using to solve this problem. So by taking the summation of forces in the vertical direction equal to zero, we have n cosine 20. This is 20 also. And we have minus 0.2 sine 20. This theta is 20. And this is the friction force component in the vertical direction down minus mg, which is 1700 multiplied by 9.81, and this is equal to zero. And from here, we can find the normal directly, which is going to be 19,140. And by looking at the summation of forces in the normal direction, which is positive to the left, we have two components of force. The normal component which is positive here, and the friction component, which is also positive to the left. And they are both equal to m times an, where an is equal to v squared over rho. 
And by doing this, we can find the velocity, which is considered to be maximum here of 24.4 meters per second. All right. How about if the question is asking for the minimum speed at which the car can travel around the track without sliding down the slope? And this slight change in the words of the problem will just change the way you look at the static correction. In the first case, it was sliding up, so the friction was down. In this case now, it will slide down, so the friction has to be up. It is the same exact problem, just the two components of friction in the vertical equation. In the normal equation, will have changing signs. And the result here will be the minimum velocity, which is 12.2 meters per second. And it makes good sense because it is way less than the velocity that we just found of 24 meters per second.